What is up, guys? Python here, back with another video. Um, today, we got the trade to talk about, finally, as it has happened. The New York Rangers trade Niels Wallquist to the Dallas Stars for a top 10 protected first-round pick in this year's draft. What, what a masterclass by Chris Drury. Considering the last that we heard, the best offer he got was a high second-round pick, and the Rangers somehow were able to pull off a first-round pick. Yeah, uh, we're taking that to the bank and running. Before we talk about this trade all together, though, my thoughts and everything, be sure to leave a like on the video if you do enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Ranger fans. going to bring you some Rangers content here. And, of course, this had to happen right now as I'm trying to watch the Met game, trying to watch the Birds right now. But we're still going to be here. We're still going to talk about it because this is huge. And the Rangers, at the end of the day, are the team that I care about the most. So we're going to talk about this. In terms of the trade from both sides, I think that this is a great trade for the Rangers. I really don't see how you could say the Rangers lost unless Neil Zogwis ends up being a Norris caliber defenseman in the future, which in reality, I don't think he is. I think his ceiling is he could be a solid top four D-man at some point. Probably more of a second pair guy than a top pair guy than we initially thought when he was tearing it up in the Swedish Hockey League. But he's still a very solid player. So for Dallas fans, you're getting a defenseman that is on the younger side of things. And he's got potential. He's definitely got potential to grow into what we thought he would be. So in terms of Dallas's perspective, pretty solid add in terms of like in terms of just the player you got because of what they gave up. I mean I don't know about that one, but in terms of what they got, you're getting a guy who I believe is 21 years old, 20 or 21 at this point, and he had a pretty okay season when he was here for the first half. He wasn't necessarily the great, and opening night, he probably had one of his worst plays that I remember when he just gifted that puck in the neutral zone. I forgot who it was to, and then Dallas scored off of that, but ironically, and yeah, so he's off to Dallas, and I think that overall, in terms of Dallas just getting a player, very solid, very talented in terms of room to grow, but again, I don't see him being anything more than a second pair defenseman at this point, so I shouldn't have said top, uh, top four, I should have said probably bottom four, you're probably looking more in that range for him, but solid guy to quarterback a power play two down the road here so i'd imagine that's how they're going to utilize him with klingberg out the door of course i'd imagine they wanted someone that could kind of fill in that role a bit to quarterback the power play so that's probably where Niels will slot in if i had to imagine i'm guessing that he klingberg quarterback the power play there let me know dallas fans if he did or didn't but that's what my guess is but in terms of what the rangers got oh chris drury what a w for a guy that well, for Chris Drury's sake, I mean, for a guy that was getting clowned all of last offseason, and oh, he's such a bad GM, and ever since the trade deadline, every single Ranger fan has been high on Drury, and this is part of why to pull off a trade like this for a guy that wanted out, for a guy that wasn't even reporting the camp, this is a massive W to get a first-round pick in what is a deep draft class, too, and Dallas, in my predictions, I don't have them making the playoffs, and... I have them more as kind of a middling team. So the trade, what is most likely going to be a pick in the 11 to, I don't know, 20 something range, or if they miss the playoffs, 11 to 16 range. I don't know if that's a smart move there for Dallas. I don't understand why they would move in such a deep draft, a first round pick. But as a Ranger fan, I am not going to complain considering, again, the highest offer that they were receiving before reportedly was a high second round pick. And that was during the draft this past year. So overall, to get a first round pick, yeah, you take that. And for those that are wondering what happens if it is a top 10 pick for the Dallas Stars, I believe that means we just get their first round pick for the following year, if I had to guess. So yeah, overall, this is just a great trade. And also, it gives you ammunition because now the Rangers have possibilities. There's flexibility. Now, when you look at the trade deadline this upcoming year, you could you, you could utilize your first-round draft pick. Before, you might be like, eh, you don't want to give up that many first-round picks. You still need guys coming through the pipeline. Now, you don't have to worry about that. Now, if you want to weaponize that first-round pick, that you have your own first-round pick, which is probably going to be later than that Dallas pick. Let's be real the Rangers are a better team than Dallas I don't think anyone's questioning that but now you could utilize that draft pick to help you get a weapon at the deadline whether it is I don't want it to be personally as a Ranger fan I I I understand fans do you can have your take 
whatever. Me personally, I don't want Patrick Kane, but the Rangers now have someone that would help them get Patrick Kane. And where if you give up a first round pick, it's a little less painful than it initially would have been. Now you're in a spot where you could give up draft picks. This is huge. This is huge in every single aspect. If the Rangers do want to go crazy, want to get a huge, huge name that we don't even that we're not even thinking about. You have two first round picks if you want to use them or you could trade your pick this year. Next year, it just opens so many possibilities up for this team. So now you're in a spot where you could get a talented player at the deadline. You could get a talented player this upcoming offseason. You have endless possibilities when it comes to improving your roster. So, yeah, to get a first round pick again for a guy that wanted out and that wasn't going to report to camp. See you later, Niels. I mean, see you later. If go have fun in Dallas. Um, I. Yeah, I, I I'm kind of confused at the same time for this trade for Dallas. I mean, they kind of have a solid amount of defensemen. I'm not sure, but maybe Dallas fans could explain this one. Although they do kind of maybe need a right-handed shot there, so I guess. But at first, I thought maybe they'd get the Rangers would get a tie. Uh, Delandria, I thought maybe a Thomas Harley somehow. I thought maybe they'd go Maverick Bork. Some one of those names I was thinking, but a first round pick for also the fact that now the Rangers could get who they want. This isn't the Rangers going out there trading for a prospect where at the end of the day, it, it's magic beans either way. This is probably more magic beans, but you're gonna get a guy now where you scout him. And you draft him, you get a guy that you want. It's not going to be someone that's already drafted by another team. Now you have the opportunity to dig deep in this draft. And if Dallas does fish in the top 10 and it ends up being their first round pick next year, oh well. Oh well, because maybe then Dallas finishes in the basement next year and we somehow land a top end pick. There's just endless possibilities. And sorry I was late with the trade too on Twitter because I ended up tweeting 15 minutes after this trade was done uh or not done but when we saw Niels was traded to Dallas I ended up seeing 15 minutes later because I was just not on my phone at all I was trying to get ready to watch the Mets trying to get ready to watch the birds but was rudely interrupted with this one should have known Rangers Monday right never fails never fails but yeah overall very very pleased with the fact that the rangers were able to get the steal done able to get a first round pick and in terms of Niels's numbers just because i never got into that 25 games played four points last year yeah uh to that i say see you later again we were begging for scraps for this guy i would have been happy with a second round pick to get a first um yeah you take that to the bank and run so that's pretty much all my thoughts with this one. I mean, I don't really know how much else I could say with this one. It's not like this is a massive blockbuster deal, but at the same time, this is huge for the Rangers because, again, you get weapons. You get uh, you get some ammo here for the deadline. You get a guy who didn't want to be here off of the books, and you get a first-round pick for him. Yeah, I'm very pleased, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section dallas fans what are you thinking are you upset are you happy that you gave up a first round pick for Niels locos how are you feeling for Niels ranger fans are you feeling like this is a fair return which i don't know how you could disagree with this return at all for a guy who wanted out but let me know what you guys think in the comment section do you think this is a good trade are you also upset at the same time that Niels is gone because for me personally i had high hopes for Niels, and i'm a little hurt that it ended the way that it did i thought that you know, maybe he should have came to camp, tried to win a roster spot, and could have went a better way about things. But here I was thinking his value was tanked, and oh boy, they got a first. Yeah, I'm happy with this one. But let me know your thoughts again in the comments. That's where I'm going to wrap things up. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you did enjoy it, leave a like on it. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Ranger fans. going to bring you content all year long. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Let's go, Rangers.